Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves, and thank you to Auto World or Round 2 for providing these for review. Here we have Auto World 164 Diecast, Premium Diecast, 2017 Release 2. I have two cases of A, and I have two cases of B. Thanks again for them for sending them to me for review and basically sponsoring this video. Let me just do this faster and just open these up right now. There we go. What do we have here? Oh, very good. Got a wagon. Oh, a nice color. Limited to 1,256 pieces. This is version A, so each uh, version is going to have their own limit of 1256. Each color, uh, version B, will be an alternate color. Very nice. 1969 Chevy Kingswood Estate. Really nice color. I can see an opening hood right there. Rubber tires. Wow, perfect tires. Looking real good. Let's go ahead and move on. I'll open some of these up uh, later on in the video. Here you have the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. You can already see the uh, taillight decorations. Here we have a 2017 Ford Mustang GT. Looks like, uh, I think, a rubber tires. I'll have to find out later on. Here you have the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS in black. Nice red stripe wheels. I should <clears throat> yeah, red stripe wheels, red lines. I like calling them red stripe wheels. 1967 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, kind of an aqua color. It has aqua interior to go along with it. Nice meaty tires. True 164 scale. You know, a lot of cars, a lot of die cast, you know, we call Hot Wheels and Matchbox 164 scale, but they're not really 164 scale. They're just a two and a half, three inch models. Uh, Auto World, true 164 scale. Fantastic. 1965 Ford GTO. Mm, Golf colors. Looks nice. Like it very much. I wonder what the alternate color is for this. Now, Auto World, they do have Chase. Mm, I forget. Uh, might be called a Gold Strike. I believe that's what their chase pieces are. To where the model would be gold. Gold highlights. That pretty much looks the same as the other. And that looks like the same. Uh, that paneling is not what a gold strike is. Let's go ahead and get the B case assortment. Here's your alternate colors. So it looks like white for the Ford GT. Red. For the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. And that looks fantastic in red. It looks so good. I don't even remember what the color was for the A, for the A sample. Here you have version B. <laughs> red looks so good. I don't even know what the color was for the A. Mm, this looks good. White with the blue stripe. 1967 Ford Mustang GT in like a uh, could be like a chocolate brown. Yellow for the Kingswood Estate. And Cadillac Eldorado in black. There you go. There's a boat. And last one, not least. Oh, this light blue looks good too. Uh, Grabber blue, right? 2017 Ford Mustang GT. Yeah, I think I like the color of the blue one better than the silver. And let's grab that last case. There you 
go. The same. White. Red. With red stripe wheels. There's your black boat. Grab her blue. And the wagon. Okay, be right back. Oops, before I said I'm looking for a gold type paint, that's not for Auto World, that's for Round 2's brand, Racing Champions Mint. For the Auto World brand, their chase pieces are called Ultra Red. Here you can see a blue car, but yet the car is red itself. This is from a previous year's release. This is when it was a, a new tooling. It's the same car. Here you have the one that just came out of my unboxing video. And this is that previous release. Ultra Reds, they will have what they have called their Ultra Red paint. And I do believe that it will also have white decorations. Uh, love the tires that they use on this model here. The Ford GT was in this mix. I have bought the Ford GT from previous Auto World releases. Here you have, a, it's like a, an enamel red with white paint. And that version actually got an Ultra Red. And there you go, you can see it's an ultra red paint. Once again with white decorations. Love those wheels. Big fat meat slicks on them. Love them, love them. Uh, so there you go. There's an ultra red red. These are the chase pieces that you're going to look for in the Auto World releases. I'm opening up all of the version B releases. That's why you see the white sample of the Ford GT. Uh, you know what? As much as I like the Ford GT, I'm not a huge fan of the Auto World version. Yes, it's true 164 scale, but it's tiny. It makes it seem so small. Uh, I had no idea that the car is really proportionally this small. I went online to check, and the Ford GT this year, the 1960, what is that? I can't see that for the uh, 1965 Ford GT40. Uh, I had no idea that it was such a tiny car. And let me go ahead and compare it to the 1967 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, I looked online. This has a, a, a total length of 165 inches and 70 inches width. And the 1967 Ford Mustang GT has a 184 inch length and 71 inch width. So they're the same width cars in real life, but the, the Mustang GT is about 10% longer than the Ford GT. Well, let's check the width. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they both have pretty much the same width, so that's true 164 scale. Let's check the length. And uh, yeah, you know what? I got a ruler before. It's about 10% longer, so they are in scale to real life. I just didn't realize this thing was so tiny. It's really small. Nice detailing with the paint. You can see the engine in the back. There's your racing numbers. Close up of the rubber tires. There's your rear decorations. No license plate, huh? Yeah, I know. It's not a real car. You know, it's a real car, but. It's not something that was on the streets. And take a look at the base. Uh, not a whole lot on the base. I'm not. They, they're really good about providing realistic uh, samples of what the base looks like. So I would presume this to be accurate. No opening features. So on top of this being a smaller model, it doesn't have any opening features. But I, I, I love the tires. And yes, I will buy every color that they release. Now we'll focus on the 1967 Ford Mustang GT. And uh, you've seen the rubber tires already. Pad printed tires. Love the chocolate brown. Silver trim around the windows. That's going to be, you can look for that in all of the cars, by the way. 390 GT. And man, it's amazing how they get such tiny details with the pad printing. It even has pad printing for the uh, door handles. You can see right there. Rubber tires, metal base, nicely detailed metal chassis, and uh, opening hood. 
There you go, multi-piece, or it's a deck, yeah, it's multi-piece. Outer World has taken some criticism for not having modern castings. Well, here you go, 2017 Ford Mustang GT. It's about as modern as, as you can get. Released the same year. Let's check out the opening hood. There you go. Nice details. I don't know if you'd be able to know this. Did you know it? I mean, do you look at the packages? Or just kind of walk by real fast and say, eh. You look at the price and you say, well, I'm not spending that. Well, this is, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for details like this. I'm not saying don't enjoy the dollar stuff as well, but hey, add some quality to your collection as well. It says horsepower on the license plate. Pretty cool how they added this detail just on the underside right there. There you go. Rubber tires. I think rubber tires. I'll check right now. And here's the detailed metal base. Let's check the tires. Yep. There you go. Rubber tires. You may have noticed I'm going kind of from the smaller cars to the larger cars. So here we have the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. Nice rubber tires, red stripe wheels, opening hood. If I can get my fingernail in it, the tiny crack. Open. There you go. Uh, separate metal. It looks like a separate piece for the engine. L78 SS. Even has SS in the grill. Detailed metal base. And of course, all of the uh, details. Silver trim, all that. Windshield wipers. And uh, check out the hood. Very nice. 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. I'm having to back up on my camera. <laughs> I can't. Uh, it's getting too, big, too wide. Let's check out the uh, opening hood. There you go. And these are kind of the kind of features that real car guys really appreciate. How they can create uh, custom pieces for different years of the cars to make sure that they are period authentic. Nice to have uh, white stripe wheels. Has a black interior, so it's hard to see in there. Left hand drive. Of course, tail light decorations. Rubber tires. And the license plate, uh, lawyer up. No, it doesn't. It looks like it says legendary. And finally, the 1969 Kingswood Estate, part of the Muscle Wagon series. Beautiful. A lot of people like collecting the wagons, the grocery getters, white stripe wheels. Looks like it has a little bit of a paneling decoration on the side. Check out the top. It has a separate piece here for the roof rack. Be careful with that. See the printing, right? Has a, looks like gold colored interior. Yeah, it looks gold colored interior. Check out the opening hood. There you go. Sometimes they stay open, sometimes they don't. Depends on, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what it depends on. <laughs> it just, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Road trip. There you go. That's a perfectly fitting uh, license plate right there. I remember riding in the back of the station wagon. Yeah, it was kind of the funnest place to be. That's when we didn't have to wear uh, seat belts, you know. Uh, times have changed. You can see how it actually has a seat that faces the rear window. <laughs> Imagine how strange that is. You're sitting there, you're riding, and you're looking at everybody else, looking at you while they're driving. And, uh, of course, metal base. All of them, metal base, metal body, and rubber tires. Most of them had opening features as well. Thanks again to Round 2 for providing these for review. What were your favorites? Thank you for watching, and happy collecting. Bye-bye.